Angie's 10 years old and I just started sponsoring her. I'm gonna start crying, I'm sorry. There was this kid, Cesar. He just lit up. His face was just joy. And then we got to go to Caesar's house. He's so happy, maybe he's doing better than the rest. That wasn't the case. His house is dilapidated. It's, you know, just boards, a dirt floor, and seven people living in, uh, you know, a room that's less than the size of my living room. But he's happy. She would cry and pray, like, why can't I have a sponsor? And so her family told me that I was an answer to that prayer. And that's hard to wrap my brain around because sometimes you want to be the hero and you want to do these incredible things. To these people, you are their hero when you become their sponsor. That kid is a hard worker and that kid is going to make it. And one of the things that's the difference in this kid's life is he is sponsored. His sponsor does write him. His sponsor tells him you can be anything. His sponsor tells him that God loves you. To see the difference in him was truly one of my favorite moments. The area was dominated by rival gangs and there were no police in the area. And that's where Anji lived. And here I am thinking, oh my gosh, I gotta take my ring off. I gotta make sure that my iPhone isn't out. And this is where she walks to school every day. And inside that family's home, they prayed that God would bless me and my husband. This family that has nothing, nothing, they were praying for me. They were praying blessings on me just because I chose to care.